It is the diagnosis no one is ever prepared to hear. The reality can make your head spin and there is no way you can think of everything you need to ask while sitting in a doctor's office. Well, now there is a free app designed to help answer your questions when you think of them from the comfort of your own home. News Force Doreen Gensler is here now to show us just how this works. Doreen? And Erica, the information about cancer can be overwhelming and hard to process. Well, now, instead of just getting a brochure or maybe watching a video at the doctor's office, there's some new technology that takes cancer patients into a virtual world to better understand their course of treatment and possible outcomes. Do you feel like you have enough information to make It's a digital tool to help people come to terms with a difficult diagnosis. I understand you just got a diagnosis. I was diagnosed almost five years ago. Went through surgery, chemo, radiation, the whole thing. It was one of the scariest times of my life. That's Linda, a, a virtual health coach for meantime, cancer patients, I'm designed to help educate people about the disease the and their game plan for treatment. I've been there. Now I'm on the other side of it. Almost five years cancer free, and I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. Through the app, users can have a private conversation with an emotionally responsive virtual character. If I can ask, are you planning to pursue chemo? After the question comes a series of prompts, then you make a selection to get a response. Hmm. I see. And do you feel like you have enough information to make that decision? Patients may be uncomfortable asking questions or may not know what to ask. The idea here is to help people comprehend the often difficult information from the comfort of their own home, not a sterile doctor's office. And this is the woman behind the comforting voice on the her real name is Delphine Taylor. She spoke to us on Skype from her home in Atlanta. Ever since I was diagnosed, I've just become an advocate, a strong advocate for women to get their mammogram. Taylor helped create the talk to someone simulation through her own experience with breast cancer. She knows what people are going through because she was in their shoes not too long ago. So I think it's designed for any woman who may have some kind of fear or apprehension and so that you could actually just click on a button or click through a series of buttons and get every question that you can think imaginable answered. Tech company Cognito teamed up with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to make this app a reality, a project that has been two years in the making. And once you come out of that doctor's office, I mean, you're kind of alone, and people typically turn to the web to get more information, or they're given flyers to get more information, and that simply doesn't really help them. Using technology for good to help patients okay. navigate the unknown during one of the most challenging times of their life. You'll have more discussions with your medical team, and in the meantime... Delphine Taylor is a triple negative breast cancer patient, or she was. She is one of many people who have contributed to this uh, online answering uh, uh, opportunity. More than a million Americans are going to be diagnosed with cancer this year, and this tool can help them as well as their family and friends as they try to figure out how to talk to their loved ones about the disease mm. and how to make some dis difficult decisions. The Talk to Someone app is free and we've posted a link for you on our website and uh, Jim and Erica something we found out after we started working on this story Delphine Taylor who you saw in that uh, in that story is actually on Harris's aunt that's right <laughs> really? yeah yes. we it's didn't know that small we... world it is indeed and it what is. a great bedside manner she has better than some doctors she does you know? she's a, she's a great spokesperson and a great advocate for, yeah. uh, for people you know, diagnosed truly, with cancer it makes so much sense to yeah. have that thanks a lot whichever Durham. way people can digest the information you know now they've, mm -hmm. they've got every tool yeah. imaginable thank you Doreen